Our sun, hanging daintily in the center of the solar system, is a single star. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has 400 billion additional stars, all doing a similar sort of thing, with a potential 6 billion Earth-like planets orbiting them. And once you consider that there could be 2 trillion other galaxies in the universe, then you are suddenly dealing with numbers so huge and digits so many that they'd even make a mathematician cry. With billions of potential receptacles for life spinning out there in space, surely at least one of them is inhabited. Enrico Fermi was puzzled that alien life had not been discovered yet. He formulated his eponymous Fermi paradox to describe this apparent contradiction. There was no scientific evidence of extraterrestrial life, but the probability that it existed was high. Solutions to the paradox range from the theory that alien life may not be advanced enough to make contact yet, to the suggestion that aliens may not want to have anything to do with us. Some astrophysicists believe alien life of some kind could be right on our doorstep, while others are pretty categorical that the creation of life on our planet was a freak occurrence that could never be repeated elsewhere. But if there is life out there, what would it look like? We've all heard stories of close encounters usually on a rural road somewhere in an isolated locality, where the aliens witness tend to have a fairly uniform look. Grey skin, big eyes, lack of aesthetic appeal. Our search for extraterrestrial life has always been informed by our own experience as life forms, looking for worlds with similar characteristics as Earth. And so the least imaginative forms aliens can take are that of humanoid grey beings, and at most, they look like they are inspired by deep-sea creatures. But one SETI astronomer believes that that is limiting our search for intelligent life. He believes extraterrestrial life could actually be sentient AI. Orbit. Beyond the blue. Technology is growing exponentially, and many say that developing superintelligent AI is not a question of if, but when. We've already got the likes of ChatGPT, OpenAI, Bing AI that have given a whole new dimension to artificial intelligence. So, if this is the advancement we've managed to achieve in our few millions of years of human existence, shouldn't we have the same standards for our cosmic brethren? SETI senior astronomer Seth Shostak thinks we ought to expand our search to include sentient alien machines. He argues that by the time we could detect and interact with extraterrestrials, they would have developed advanced technology like AI. Suppose there are other planets where life began, and that it followed closely the Darwinian evolution theory. Even then, it's highly unlikely that the progression of intelligence and technology would happen at exactly the same pace as on Earth. If it lags significantly behind, then that planet would plainly reveal no evidence of extraterrestrial life to our radio telescopes. But around a star older than the Sun, life could have had a head start of a billion years or more. Human technological civilization only dates back millennia, and it may be only one or two more centuries before us humans, which are made up of organic materials such as carbon, are overtaken or transcended by inorganic intelligence, such as AI. Computer processing power is already increasing exponentially. AI is the future, everyone knows that. AI is already leaps and bounds ahead of what it used to be just a decade ago. If it keeps up at this pace, it could get exponentially smarter, surpassing human general intelligence altogether. The only barrier left for AI to cross right now seems to be sentience, and we kinda know what happens once that is achieved. If we can develop artificial intelligence within a couple of hundred years of inventing radio, any aliens we are likely to hear from have very likely gone way past that point, Shostak had mentioned in an interview with BBC. In all our previous searches for alien life, we have put a focus on Earth-like worlds, exoplanets within Goldilocks zones which have similar conditions to Earth. Think Proxima b, or the planets of Trappist system. Show stakes arguments mean that alien life could be far more versatile, being digital life forms. 
and a digital life form wouldn't require water, oxygen, or any other building blocks of life. AI may even be able to evolve, creating faster and better versions of itself on a timescale that is much swifter than our evolution theory. Organic human-level intelligence would then be just a brief cameo in their history before the machines take over. So if alien intelligence had evolved similarly, we'd be most unlikely to encounter it. It would have only been a speck of time when it was still embodied in its biological form. If we were to detect extraterrestrial life, it would be far more likely to be electronic and synthetic than flesh and blood. And it may not even reside on planets. That is why efforts like SETI are important. They look not just at the possible life-bearing worlds, but at any and all signals that alien life might have sent into space. If you are familiar with the Kardashev scale, you would know that we are currently just a type 0 civilization. We aren't even a whole number. According to renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, the next 100 years of science will determine whether we perish or thrive. As a civilization grows larger and becomes more advanced, its energy demands will increase rapidly due to its population growth and the energy requirements of its various machines. If show stakes arguments are true, then perhaps AI is not the villain we make it out to be. Instead, developing and embracing AI may be the path to us becoming a spacefaring civilization that induces the test of time. If we consider AI alien forms, then it is worth looking for traces of aliens in our own solar system. While we can rule out the possibility of visits by human-like species, a bunch of new probabilities open. An extraterrestrial civilization that has mastered nanotechnology may have transferred its intelligence to tiny machines which could then invade other worlds, or even asteroid belts, with swarms of tiny microscopic probes. All of this may sound outlandish, we agree, but it is all based on our current understanding of physics and cosmology. We ought to be open-minded about the possibility that there's so much we don't understand. Perhaps the laws we see and the constants we measure are only native to our planet, our solar system or galaxy, and could differ in other corners of the universe, maybe electronic brains, so to say simply have a stark different perception of reality, and we cannot predict or understand their motives. If so, then the radio sounds that we are experiencing right now could mean the absence of advanced civilizations, or simply their personal choice. But what do I know? Beyond the Blue.